So this is a good technique for if I want to make a jig for something or maybe I just want to do a complicated cut from something. Uh, I've got an assembly and I've got two parts in it. Well, imagine that this gold one is like a car trim or something like that. And this big block is what I'm going to make a nest from so that it can sit in it. So I'm going to double click to edit in parts, modify, and I'm going to copy the object. So I'm copying this trim in. I'm going to use a solid. So now what I have is a part with a copy of the gold part in, but also you'll see I still have the original trim within the assembly. So what I can do now, open that part on its own. See, I've got two bodies in here. And then use combine. So I'm going to pick the base. This is my nest. I'm going to pick the car part that I want to cut out of it. Just use the cut command. So now I've got a nest there that the part would fit into. And then, you know, I could use thicken or uh, direct edit to make this a bit bigger so that there's a bit of um, clearance on either side to get the part in. Another way that you can use this for is if I wanted to do a complicated cut. So what we'll do is just get rid of these. Go back to my assembly. And let's say that was like that. So now, again, double click. Oh, it's going to open it there. Double click. And I'm going to do this copy again. There's a part. And this time, my part is all the way through it. Do the combine again. Cut that. So what you have now is you have two bodies in there. What I can do is use delete face, but just switch it to bodies. So now I have that profile from the part that I've cut out of it. So that's a good way to do a complicated cut. If I've got some kind of imported part or whatever that I want to put in there and cut around it. Boom.